as a wrestler, do you look forward to the next kind of WrestleMania? Because at this point, you've kind of you've had the first WrestleMania you're in the Battle Royal. Yeah. The second one, you're maybe going to be involved in the main event, but it doesn't quite work out. The third one, you're added to a match. Is there something in your head where you kind of go, I want to make sure yeah. somehow that I can be in that next one? I think as a talent, um, some guys just like to get paid, and that's great. And the other guys, they're 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 more looking for the the creative, like the fix. And for me, I gave myself a rule after WrestleMania in Houston. I'm never going to sit in the family box ever again. You know, if you're not performing, you can go up and sit in the family box with all the Hall of Famers and all the family, and it's nice. But I gave myself that rule, and then I was in the triple threat the next year, and I gave myself a rule of the triple threat. I said, I'm never going to be in this triple threat. I'm going to do a singles match. And I really genuinely gave myself that rule. And it's like the Super Bowl and, you know, uh, American sports as far as you don't you, – you work year-round to get – on WrestleMania. So as we like approach WrestleMania in Atlanta, that most people don't know that. It's my first singles match on a pay per view and it just happened to be a friggin' WrestleMania. So that's all that's all you think about is WrestleMania. And working with Rey Mysterio in your first WrestleMania as a singles match. Best. Um what was that? Yeah, Rey Mysterio, ladies and gentlemen. Rey Mysterio. Um, how did it come about that you and him get the match? Because it seems like at that point, you're a young guy, he's a veteran who could probably, at that point, call who he wants to work with. That's exactly what happened. He, uh, I remember standing by the ring and Dash and Cody Rhodes is kind of fizzling out and there's the whole discussion on one side of the ring about why I don't wear knee pads and then on the other side of the ring, uh, Ray, Cody, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm excited, it's Ray Mysterio, you know, go over. Hey, uh, anybody talk to you about WrestleMania? Oh, uh, no, not yet. Like, no, of course not. Nobody's there. Well, I I'm thinking about matches. I want to work you. Oh, okay. And uh, then Dean Malenko walks over, and Dean is raised like, I don't know, comes across as many things. His bodyguard, his father, like he's a, he's a hundred. He goes, hey, did, they, did, did you guys talk? They, well, we just, he goes, yeah, let's do WrestleMania. Okay, and, and, and Ray, hey, give, give me your number, and the thing is, I want you to come up with the ideas, though, because I'm just, I'm not interested. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, no, definitely, definitely, I'm going to come up with the ideas. This is months out of WrestleMania, so I, like, write this, like, like just manifesto. I, that, I was so excited, I stayed up all night, and I write it, and I text Ray, didn't text me back. Text him again, didn't text me, like, two weeks go by, and I've seen him now. He still hasn't got back to me. And we walk into this arena, Tulsa. I'll never forget Tulsa, Oklahoma. We walk in, and there's Ray. And uh, Ray dresses like, like a gift from God. It's a good boy. He's got these Louis Vuitton shoes on, Louis Vuitton leather pants. Like, not everyone can pull it off, but Ray could pull it off. And uh, I walk in, and he goes, hey, Cody. Yeah. And then he just goes, boom, boom, boom. And I look, it's Vince's door. Well, I don't do this. I just, you know, knock, knock, stick my head in. Hey, oh, never mind. Close the door. Um, Ray just literally pushes the door open with his bottom foot, and Vince is kind of caught off guard. And Ray goes, hey, I've been talking about WrestleMania opponents. I want to work Cody. And Vince goes, yeah? You got an idea? And I had it. And I think he was pissed that I had it. I took it out. I said, yeah, right here. He goes, begrudgingly looking at it. Puts on these little tiny glasses. <laughs> and then he goes, yeah, okay, WrestleMania. Matches will be really good, right? Yeah, going to be great. And then, uh, you know, I, so that's why I say, like, without Ray, like, doing that, I, nothing happens. I don't know why Ray took such a trust in the whole situation. But then the other part was, like, we were talking about Michael Hayes. Everything I wrote down got to happen. Everything. Uh, they, you know, the the addition that Vince made to the the mask, which was just essentially like Phantom of the Opera meets American Psycho. Um, Vince wanted me to put paper bags on people's heads, and that was his addition. And I thought, hey, it's great. I used to walk in the building, you see all these kind of union local employees just cutting the eyes out of these paper bags, and there's like this many. I, mean, I know I'm gonna put it on like six people, and they looked so miserable. And, <laughs> It looks so miserable. I'm sorry, guys. I never stopped to say hi. I just kept going. But, um, yeah, no, Ray. 
Yeah, that's why, for sure, if we could, one more to Rey Mysterio, because he's the fucking man. <laughs>